and this is Hollywood County Down Railway Station and that's the 005 just taking off down to Bangor And out there is Belfast Lock. You can see the white horses, it's quite rough today. Very popular walking spot this. The, uh, the Dirty Duck restaurant down the road here. And there is a bridge underneath. And it connects you with Hollywood Town and the underpass. I love anything colourful, I love anything in mosaic and I love a wee bit of artwork. I was placed here in 2011, so I'll try and get a wee bit further back from it and let you see this. It's a wee bit difficult because of the cars part. So you've got the town hall there, but the top going down to the left, you've got uh, the stream river, uh, the, the Twizzle stream perhaps. Yes, I would say that is, with the heart on it. And I have videoed that. And then you've got the Titanic which sailed past this. You've got Coltra with the, the train as well there and you've got the coastal path and this is Belfast Lock big cargo vessel coming in here Tides well in, panning round, and this is the Stena heading out. It's the Stena super fast, sudden. Absolutely beautiful, as I say. And this is a park with Hunter Grant chair down at it. Good afternoon, I'm down at the crossroads in affluent Hollywood. I'm at the crossroads of Church Road and High Street. And here is a maypole, and this apparently is the only surviving maypole in the whole of Ireland, and it's in Hollywood County Down, and apparently this maypole dates from the 1620s, you wouldn't believe that. And it's still in use, and in May day, um, on May 1st, the children all gather around and uh, they do a dance, circular dance around it. Uh, it's the focus of the town's annual May Day celebrations. Th this was, I believe, the mast of a ship that uh, ran aground off the uh, coast here. And off they go. Isn't that nice? This is Hollywood Library. And it's a quirky building. And it's a historic building. 
this uh, was an old school and it is the school that the famous just <laughs> trying to get across the road it is the school that the famous uh, Pragers went to Rosamond Prager and her brother so it says uh, Hollywood National School built by Robert Sullivan 1862 This is Hollywood non-subscribing Presbyterian Church and it must be one of the quirkiest looking churches uh, that I have ever, se have ever seen um, the, the front the frontage of the church anyway uh, reminds me of a children's birthday cake and not only in color but in, in shape and uh, even right up to the roof there apparently this church was um, designed by famous architect Sir Charles Langham and I've just come along Hollywood's uh, main street here and I've come across this uh, Johnny the Jig uh, bronze statue it's by Rosamond Prager 1867 to 1954 of Hollywood sculptress illustrator writer who loved kids Johnny the Jig and the original um, sculptor is in North Down Museum Bangor. It was created to commemorate a local Boy Scout named Fergus Morton, who was killed in a road accident while doing Bob a job. The wee lad was uh, killed, and it was 1952, so the, she made a statue as a wee sort of commemoration, a, a wee tribute. I've come to see this old prairie here, and uh, the Prairie Inn, actually round the corner, was named after this. The town's rich ecclesiastical heritage is represented today by this uh, distinctive building. This site was formerly a monastery founded by St. Lasserin in the early 7th century. The ruins you see today are that of the 12th century Anglo-Norman Augustine Ch uh, Abbey. Henry VIII dissolved the Priory in 1541 with its lands passing on to the O'Neill family and then to Sir James Hamilton, first Viscount of Clandyboy. He was the one that uh, let out the town with the Maypole at the crossroads and most of the early buildings. So there you are now. And it tells us the tower actually here dates from 1809. The graveyard has some interesting residents, including members of the Prager family, uh, who did Johnny the Jig, the lady did Johnny the Jig, the Dunvilles of whiskey fame, Sir Joseph Lemur, Larmer, uh, the world famous mathematician. I'm back on Victoria Road here in uh, Hollywood. This is Co Hollywood Conservation Area, and this is the Twizzle Bridge path and uh, the pathway leads down to Twizzle Burn or stream and it leads down to the famous Twizzle Bridge. And uh, this is quite remarkable here. This is like a headstone. And it's a commemorative uh, stone. Twizzle Bridge, this bridge and its approaches were erected in 1912 in memory of Richard Patterson, who for many years took an active part in every good work 
in Hollywood. So we're continuing along the uh, the Twizzle Path here, and it runs from Victoria Road up at the top, and takes you down onto Church Street. And for many, many years, and still is, many decades, it has been used as a through pass, children going to school and whatnot. Good afternoon. This is Victoria Road, Hollywood, and there are some hidden gems in off this road. Come on, and we'll do a wee bit of exploration and investigation. I've come across a hidden pathway in Hollywood, Old Hollywood, conservation area, Hollywood. And this path was described to me as the scurry path and apparently there's all sorts of stories associated with this path and there's even a mention of a murder which took place or may or may or may not have taken place on this path. And there's mention of all sorts of uh, skullduggery, ghosts and all the rest of it. Now, how much of this is based on fact or fiction is anybody's guess, but it's a strange, quirky little path. And many of these houses, these large houses uh, close by here, date from the early 1800s. And I'm wondering, was this path used um, by servants on their way to work. It's an unknown hidden world up here which few people actually take time to come to, to reach, to make the effort and they just don't know about it. Just a final panorama round, there's a rainbow. And we're up above Hollywood, County Down.